but I need to address one thing right now. I read in a couple of places that this has to have been a publicity stunt. This was not a publicity stunt. Of course, if I had known that all this would happen, I would have done this years ago. Keith Olbermann back on the air Tuesday night after MSNBC briefly suspended him for making campaign contributions to Democratic candidates running for office, a violation of NBC rules. The suspension was brief. Did uh, NBC cave? I think they totally did. I think they, they clearly don't like him, and he doesn't like them. I'm talking about the suits that... MSNBC and NBC and up the chain and so on. And they sort of were so mad at him, obviously, or they saw the chance to get rid of him. And then the backlash happened, and they caved. Uh, he'll, he's back and stronger than ever, and I'm sure he's even going to be more dominant within MSNBC in the future. Should journalists who are going to be covering political candidates, should they be making contributions to political candidates? He is a commentator. He is not, not a, a reporter. He's not a journalist. I don't see why this ever became an issue. It was a free speech issue as far as I was concerned. All right, moving on to the White House press secretary who has had his share of confrontations with reporters. Those guys, if there's a pool spray, all of them go in. All of my guys go in. Okay? That's the new agreement. My second request, friends. When we go in. That was Robert Gibbs in India on Monday, fighting to get his eight pool reporters, as they're known, into the meeting between President Obama and the Indian Prime Minister. Reporters there said Gibbs threatened to pull President Obama out of the meeting if his demands weren't met. Uh, it wasn't a press conference. I mean, does the press secretary have the right to be throwing around the president? Well, you know, I, I've been on a lot of those trips. I've never seen a display like that, and we've only seen part of that. Uh, but this is an administration that so concerns itself with what their image is overseas. And here he is, the quintessential ugly American, pushing the Indians around over what? Over the difference between five people going in for 60 seconds or eight people going in for 60 seconds. Did, did he overstep his bounds? No, yes. he yes. deserves a free speech medal. Finally, we oh, have here, a press here. secretary oh. who's for action. <laughs> right. These guys spend most of their careers on trying to keep us out of stuff. Yeah, you go, exactly. Gibbs, you go. I, I, I'm go with Gibbs, Robert. too, on this one, too. Yeah, me too. I, 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 yeah, I mean, look, that's his job. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and Ugly who, who are you going to say? You, you got eight, <laughs> eight members of the pool. Who are you going to say the three? Okay, Ugly you get lost. American. You're not going to pull that out. We're out of here. Sucking up to the White House press. They criticize him often enough. If you finally did something nice for them. <laughs> wow. Jim Pickerton agrees with Robert Gibbs. Let's mark this date. Sarah Palin's Alaska set to premiere this Sunday night on TLC. Take a look at a clip. I think that my kids will always call Alaska home. I'd rather be out here being free. This is what life is all about. And on a really clear day, you can see Russia from here. Almost. <laughs> she has gotten a lot of heat for that new show. Some lefty groups, Ellis, are pushing Discovery Communications to pull the plug. How about that for freedom of speech? A strategic misstep on the part of the lefty groups you mentioned. Let the woman talk. Believe me, the more she talks, the better off they are. Interesting that, you know, some of these folks who don't like her, I mean, she puts eyeballs in front of television sets, right? Yeah, and she got a network to pay her a million dollars per episode to do this. But I found the most interesting review to come from Karl Rove, who is not exactly a left-wing lunatic, who said this is not going to advance her presidential prospects. This doesn't make her look presidential. I'd listen to Karl. And the numbers keep going down every time she makes an appearance. Her popularity numbers, you have to keep track of those. The more you see her, the less you like her. And overexposure is something the Democrats have to pray for. Have to pray for. So you think that... Uh, Plus the fact that they can bank on the timidity of most men who are so absolutely spooked by feminism that they are afraid to criticize her. Give her something on the Cartoon Network. Wait, 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 let, 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 let us criticize her. Let, let her let. I, I want another episode. Please renew it. Just like every a thousand How networks. Ellis wants to go moose hunting and we have to take more, one more break.